A beautiful Del Mar of a treasure that houses history. The Milton Theater finally getting back to business after COVID-19 forced its temporary closure. So what exactly does that mean for you? Gosh, I am so glad you asked. With us this afternoon to explain, this is J.P. LeCap. He is the Milton Theater's marketing director. J.P., how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Thank you so much for having me, Jimmy. You betcha. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Now, let me, the Milton Theater is one of only two theaters in the entire state that has opened. So what's going on? Tell me what you're allowing. Uh, we just had our first um, uh, event yesterday. We screened uh, Wizard of Oz, and uh, the reception has been great. Um, everyone was very excited to be here. Um, our attendance was pretty light, but everyone who came were all very excited that we're that we're open again. And even those who were not ready to go out, um, everyone uh, online was saying that you know, good luck. Um, we hope you guys make it. And um, we definitely have the support of the community. And then today we have another uh, film screening, um, Raiders of the Lost Ark. But we also have an outdoor um, event at f uh, uh, from 5 to 7 p.m., uh, which is already sold out. We have a uh, live music with uh, Al Frantic, and we're going to have a beer garden. And it's basically a happy hour for the reopening of downtown Milton. And um, Wow. Uh, on Friday, we also have a stand-up uh, comedy show, and on um, Saturday evening, we have a uh, socially distanced drag show. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of things going on there. So, uh -huh. when we walk inside the Milton Theater, what can we what can we look forward to seeing? Are you having to like block off some of the rows or some of the seats? Yes, we're limited to 30% of capacity right now, and um, so we usually our capacity is 290. And we are limited right now to 80 and 90. So every other row is blocked off. And then there's going to be a separation of about three seats for every group inside the theater. We have hand sanitizers, hand sanitizers everywhere. And um, we have signs everywhere about the regulations and the safety precautions that we have. So, I, so then get there early so that you can get in for reduced seating and, and, and stay away from each other? Is that... Yes, um, uh, coming here early is always the best way. Um, we um, also uh, created an online ordering um, site where people don't even can completely skip the lines and they can get anything that, that, that they want from our bar um, through their phone. With everything that's gone on with COVID and the changes that you've had to make to the theater and, and bringing people in and everything, what do you see for the future? What kind of future impact do you think that's going to have on Milton Theater? Um, you know what, I always, uh, in, in everything, I always say that there's a lesson. And I think the lesson for the pandemic is that we realize that what we truly miss is not the stuff, but it's the experiences, it's the missed opportunities to spend quality time um, physically with the people that we love and um, creating memories with them. Um, the Mellon Theater has been here for about 100 years. It had burned down twice. It became, uh, you know, a basketball court, a restaurant um, in, throughout its history. And we truly believe that we can ride out the pandemic and we're going to come out um, stronger and much better. Uh, it's, it's, it's been a very challenging um, two months for us. But uh, as we said, I mean, as you said, we're, the, we're, we're one of the only two theaters that are um, open right now. And we will continue to be uh, a trailblazer. Um, uh, we'll, uh, we, we, we took the opportunity to streamline some of our processes, um, to upgrade some of our equipment, um, both in the theater and, our, and, and at our bar. And I believe right. that we, will, we, have a, uh, we have a great future. Uh, the arts always finds a way to be resilient. Ain't no little old pandemic going to stop the Milton Theater. JP, the captain <laughs> yes. of the Milton Theater, thank you so much for spending time with us this afternoon. Thank you so much, Jimmy. Appreciate it.